that's my question. You've got this brilliant event that attracts a thousand plus people all dressed up, going to a place. Now you've been tasked with this, you know, problem. How do you convert this to an online experience? What have you come up with? Barbara, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Ralph? I'm doing pretty good. I, we're, we're making it through. The world has definitely changed, uh, sure but we're, uh, we're trying our best to adapt. We're trying to keep busy. So, and I, from what I understand, you guys are keeping pretty busy too. You've got some stuff up your sleeve. We sure do. We're about to launch the uh, uh, Cuvée 2020 online experience for the safety of all of our guests of uh, Cuvée. Uh, we set out to do something a little bit different, a little bit unique, and that's... Let me, uh, let's slow down for just a second. Just for, in case there's any viewers who aren't familiar with Cuvée, who haven't been to a Cuvée event, uh, let's, let's, tell me what it is. What is Cuvée? All right, so Cuvée is um, the grand tasting. It celebrates uh, the Ontario VQA winemaking excellence. Uh, so the event has been going on for 32 years. Um, it's the longest standing event of its kind in Canada. Um, Brock University took over the hosting um, of Cuvée about six years ago. Um, and it, at that point, we've grown it into it's the largest standing event of its kind. Yeah. So what is Cuvée and what makes it unique? Um, the Cuvée Grand Tasting is broken down into the evening, uh, the, well, typically it's Saturday evening, where from 7 to 10, um, you enjoy the 48 magnificent VQA wineries um, that are pouring two, not just one, but two of their winemakers' favorite wines during that evening. And we've got culinary partners, uh, local um, local restaurants that um, have uh, created beautiful uh, masterpieces at their live cooking stations. Then uh, we turn it into what's called a pre cuvee, and I think that's one of your favorite parts of, <laughs> of the evening, <laughs> Ralph. You know, the whole um, evening but... is crazy. It, it, <laughs> it's just an overload of, of, it's a sensory overload. It really but... is, because a pre cuvee at 10 o'clock we go from the grand tasting uh, where you're trying wines and food to a prey where it's all about the fun. Um, so we again have wonderful VQA sparkling and ice wine as well as uh, local breweries, uh, cideries, um, as well as a live band to dance the, dance the night away. Right away. The rest or the remainder of the, the weekend, uh, we do Cuvée en route, which again, I know you're familiar with yes. and have partnered with uh, Cuvée in the past. Yes. Um, for the rest of the weekend to go out to all of the local participating Cuvée wineries and enjoy Cuvée-inspired tastings the entire weekend long. So... It's we, a busy weekend, for sure. It's a busy weekend. So the other part to that is that proceeds from the event, uh, when it's an in-live event, um, go to support um, Brock University student scholarships and research that benefits the grape and wine industry. Oh. Um, but we, we needed to take a look at how do we take this traditional wine tasting event to an online Format. That's my question. You've got this brilliant event that attracts a thousand plus people all dressed up, going to a place. Now you've been tasked with this, you know, problem. How do you convert this to an online experience? What have you come up with? So we wanted to bring this community-minded um, event to an online experience. Um, to provide wine lovers with, again, incredible opportunities to celebrate Ontario VQA wines during these challenging times. So we broke down Cuvée um, and what makes it so unique. And as I mentioned, um, the wineries are looking at their, um, their winemakers' favorites. So we went to all, of, all 48 of our participating wineries and asked them to produce a video one and a half to two minutes long um, about their winemakers favorites. What are they? Um, what might pair well with them? Um, site specific uh, information, vineyard information, or just its availability, um, whether it's online, uh, curbside, uh, free shipping, 
across Canada um, or LCBO. And what that, what that ended up inspiring, uh, Ralph, was an amazing array of, of videos that become a, a time capsule um, where the winemaker can come into your living room through this online experience and tell you what their favorites are and why. Um, some of them are really fun. Some of them, like I said, are in a vineyard or, um, or in their tasting bar, but they've each taken their own and put their personality into it. And how cool is that? So you're going to put this live on, sorry, it's May 22nd? Correct. We launch on May 22nd, but I want to make it very clear that anybody can go on anytime, anywhere, anytime. It's free, no strings attached. Um, you can go in, take a look at, at these, um, these amazing wineries. It goes by each winery. You click on the winery. You can view the, uh, view the video, um, take a look at the wines, their availability, and click straight through to the winery itself and buy online through the winery, buying local Ontario VQA wines. So how, this is fantastic. So you've, you're launching it, so you're going to have Cuvée, but Cuvée, the one downside to Cuvée for me was the ability to consume. There's so much there to taste mm -hmm. and experience, but now you've got it online and I can meter it. I can do this from now until Christmas. Correct. I, I can have you've Cuvée for months. Correct. You can go on on May the 22nd or May the 30th or whenever, choose your wines, go online um, and purchase your wines, get your, them free shipped to your home. And, you know, whenever you want, you can taste those wines, um, have virtual tastings with your friends or, or maybe by that time, uh, safe distancing will allow us to have more yeah. family around us and friends around us and we can enjoy these together when we want at any time um again no strings attached and in the that safety of our own home that's fantastic We've also, did, did i tell you about the culinary partners well you i know that there's culinary partners but they're involved as what are they they're giving ideas on what to pair and yeah so, well, the culinary partners, what we've done on the web page that's to do with the grand tasting. So basically the web pages are broken down to the grand tasting with all of the, the wine stations and the culinary partners. So there it will list the culinary partners and you can uh, link or hyperlink right straight through to the restaurant and find out what takeaway options that they, they might be giving. Um, so then you can click on a pre cuvee, which we talked a little bit about, where there it's got a listing of the sparkling, um, the VQA sparkling and ice wines that would have been oh, wow. poured, and again, linking you to the winery webpage, or the local breweries that, uh, that were participating in cuvee, um, or the local cideries. Um, as well, our band uh, Jonesy that was going yeah. to be playing. Uh, I think you're familiar with Jonesy as I'm well. Great party band. Yeah. Um, Jonesy uh, prepared a, a very special video for for us. So oh, really? that's there as well. That's fantastic. That's a ton of work that you guys have put into this. So it changes the whole experience. But it, I, it does. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say, I don't want to add more work to your plate, but this seems like... I mean, I've, we've been talking to a lot of winery owners and, and people in the industry and, and trying to find silver linings. I might suggest that, that having this as a companion to the live experience moving forward might be brilliant because this... I think it's, I think it's definitely a tool that people can use. Many wineries, um, we've all been caught in this where you're at a, at a winery at the retail shop and and you're trying all of these really great wines and you end up asking them, well, what's your favorite or yeah. what, what wine would you suggest? And this is just taking that step and putting it online that you can access any time, um, you know, where it's not pretentious at all. It's just for the love of wine. If you're curious about any of these participating wineries, it gives you the opportunity to take a look at them uh, with, again, no strings attached. And I can... Sure. Check it out and, oh, I really love Riesling. 
who's pouring Riesling, who would yeah. have been pouring Riesling at Cuvée, and then how do I get a hold of those wines, free shipping and uh, to my door, um, and then, you know, what do I cook with it? So there's no, there's no charge for people to access the website and experience. No it. charge. Yeah, no <laughs> charge. Um, we wanted this virtual experience, uh, again, that launches on uh, Friday, May the 22nd. Uh, we wanted it available to everybody. Um, we want, we just wanted, Brock wanted a community-minded event to support uh, VQA wineries, um, local restaurants, um, and uh, microbrews and ciders, uh, just in an attempt to go local, um, keep local in mind whenever and wherever. Well, and well, but what, would, what they can, sorry, go ahead. Well, when you say local, you're talking about Ontario. Anyone, I mean, these wineries are in wine regions in Ontario, but anyone in Ontario can access this. Yes. Uh, and most wineries are shipping anywhere in Ontario. So anyway, you're in Ottawa, you're in Cornwall, you're in Windsor, and anywhere in between, you should be able to jump on this website and experience Cuvée. Exactly. Um, and in fact, many or there are some wineries that are, are shipping outside of Canada. So oh, wow. take a look at that. Um, I also uh, talked to some friends down in Buffalo who are going to be logging in and starting to make their list because as, as soon as that, uh, um, uh, that border comes open, they're coming across and they're going to be uh, making their, their picks at that time. Well, I have to say, I'm really impressed and really intrigued by this because this is, it's Cuvée, which happens in the spring, but I can access this throughout the summer. Yes. As things, we don't know what's going to happen through the summer and into the fall. Things are, are going to be different uh, mm -hmm. and slowly morphing back to normal, but this is yeah. going to stay. And no matter what stage I'm at, you've got a place to go and you can access the winemaker who gives you their tips on their favorites, their suggestions, and you can, this is brilliant. Kudos. Yeah. Kudos I mean, let's guys. face it, at this time, you know, we're, we're not in any position to uh, be able to judge when large social gatherings are going to be coming back. So uh, this is an opportunity to, you know, we haven't, we have not set a date for Cuvée 2021, but until that time, again, let's go local and check out uh, cuvée.ca, which is the website. Um, and use your uh, social media, connect with social media, um, connect with the, with the wineries, make sure you tag them in and, um, and support them through, uh, through these ways as well. Well, I'm super impressed. What a great execution. I, I am so excited. So we're going to put the word out. We're going to get people to jump on on the 22nd, but we can push this all the way, like I said, through the summer and into the fall. It's going to be there. So if you're watching yes. this video and it's July 15th or it's October 15th, you can still jump on this website and get all these uh, tips and information and videos from the winemakers. It's all there for you. Good it's for you. It's all there. It's all there. Thank you. Thank you very much. So are you going to follow us on social media and make sure? Well, we're tagging? already following you on social media, but we are going to share it. So you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook, you've got your website. Uh, and... Um, and anybody who wants to get um, information uh, via our newsletter, our online newsletter, they just um, email info at cuvee.ca and we'll make sure that they're, they're placed on the list for further information. And all, all you're doing is updating people. You're not asking them for anything. You're not selling their email address. This is just an update. This is fantastic. It's specific. Yeah, specific to cuvee.ca. They wouldn't receive anything anything other than uh, information about cuvee.ca for sure. Well, congratulations and thanks for all the hard work. It, this is really comprehensive and you've, I think, uh, I love the planning that's gone in, into this and uh, I'm really excited for it to go live. So As are we. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah, thank you for the time and, uh, and we look forward to, to hearing more from you as we go forward. We should probably have a follow-up in the summer. Yes, let's do that. All With right. wine. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. Thank you for your time. And we will talk to you soon. Cheers. Cheers.